To study black history is to essentially criticize the United States project. And we are constantly told that the United States project is a good one. It's an inclusive one. We just need to live up to the values, right? Sort of ignoring that very much so the initial documents, the very origins of the United States are grounded in anti-blackness. So, um, you know, I think this is very on, very on par for U.S. history. Um, it's not surprising in any way. And of course, the individuals that are trying to attack black history, they're doing it under the banner of, oh, it's critical race theory. Many of these uh, uh, Politicians couldn't even tell you or define what critical race theory is. Um, we know that it's certainly not taking place in secondary schools. They they just don't want black history to be taught. I think there's another irony there, perhaps not an irony at all, right, which is this idea that America is supposed to be the land of the free, right? And yet it's very much so an, an effort is happening to sort of force feed ahistorical information to Americans, right, for the purpose of patriotism. Um, and I think what's interesting is that patriotism is something that should be earned. And if this country is as exceptional and as profound as the GOP suggests that it is, then why do they feel the need to remove these indisputable aspects of the country's history, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think limiting, cherry picking, censoring what we're teaching in our schools, right, is, is they say that that's not the American way, but that's exactly what's happening, right? We know that they're literally removing books if people feel uncomfortable.